an inspiring story there. Well, he thought that he lost his long-cherished dream of studying abroad at one of the best universities in the world, and that had ended in 2019 when he lost his father uh, some months before uh, the final examinations. But fate had a different script uh, for the life of a 20-year-old Ebenezer Che. Uh, four years later, uh, he has won $2 million worth of scholarship uh, from six best universities in the world. He chose Harvard University after he also got admission into Yale University uh, California Technology Institute and four other top universities. Eben says he is determined to uh, bring about some changes in the technology space in Ghana and Africa after his studies. Maxwell Agwaba has more in this report. As at now, it's exact look. But um, as it goes into the market and we are realizing profits, we are trying to upgrade it into a boarding way. Just Ebenezer Che, when I met him four years ago system, during the National Science and Maths Quiz competition, he had co-founded Exiatlog, an app that helps in keeping and managing the issuance of Exiats in senior high schools. The app replaces the age-old paper-based Exiats. Ebenezer had just lost his father and was also disappointed he couldn't make it into the NSMQ team of Presec Legon. It was really a shock. I felt that my dreams were crashing because the, even the, high, um, the junior high school I attended in Akuse, it's called Akuse International School, and then it's really expensive. So he wasn't too well did that much. So um, he was really trying his best to give me the best academic experience. So even at that point, I mean, the school fees was <laughs> even more than his salary value. He, he managed to. I tried, so they called for the test. We called it a Brilla test. So I wrote, there were, so there were about 600 science students or so. So we wrote, I was shortlisted for the first 20, mm. and then we wrote again, first 13, and then top 10 or so. Yeah, then after that, <laughs> the final test, they, they wanted to take six students, and then I ranked seventh on the test. Oh. So I was just under the line. Yeah, it really got to me, but then I, I channeled that disappointment to like, I was like, you know, maybe pro programming is yours, so just focus on that. When Eben lost his father, he thought his long cherished dream of studying in a top university abroad had been shattered. But an interaction with the founder of the Coden Foundation, Selom Abedu, changed his life. Eben is now in his first year at Harvard University studying computer science. My experience at Harvard University has been a very wonderful one. And the only challenge here is the academics, which is fire groups. But then mechanisms have been put in place to ensure that um, we excel at academics. For instance, the class sizes are very small, which ranges from about 8 to 15 students per class. And with this, you're able to develop an interpersonal relationship with your professor. And the professor is able to know your strengths and your weaknesses and help you and adjust to the new environment and also there's um they are very much um focused on collaboration so you realize that when you are solving your problem sets which is like homeworks in, in the Ghanaian context you get to collaborate with your friends to help you think through the process now with the new environment the only um different thing here is the weather and food but then yeah i'm trying to adjust a bit and what i miss back home definitely is the Ghanaian food and and Ebenezer is just one out of the many young Ghanaians who have benefited from the guidance and support of Salom Promise Abedou's Cordon Foundation. The foundation is helping young Ghanaians, some of them from deprived homes, to get into the best universities in the world. Enoch, Enoch Danso. Okay, which secondary school? I went to Pope John Senior High School. I, I always knew I wanted to go abroad for my studies. I didn't get the opportunity to go to the university because of the finances and all that. So I was just home trying to find my way with the application. I didn't have any assistance, so I just Googled like how to write essays, how to study for the exam. Like just Google almost every day, like 2 a.m. all the time. I was so obsessed. I found a job. I was working as um, a teacher and then um, part-time. I took Susu part-time. So yeah, so. 
during that time, I was like, if I don't do it again, I would have to teach and do susu for the rest of my life. So I just did it. So it was, I met Selom, the founder of Codon. And then he was like, oh, that's not a problem. He will help me. He will give me the materials and everything. So he sent me the materials to, to prepare, yeah. to learn for the SAT. And then he also paid for the application. When the scores came out, I got the 1440. And then I did ED early decision application to Cornell University. And then God being so good, I, I got him, yes. Selom says his foundation wants to create a new wave of young leaders who are breaking all barriers to study in the top universities in the world. I realized that there's a big gap that exists between the privileged and underprivileged when it comes to accessing higher education. In simple terms, financial constraints have prevented a lot of people to be able to go to school and achieve their dreams. As I've already mentioned, we are looking forward to supporting thousands of students from underrepresented areas, and we will need more funding to be able to achieve this. Therefore, we are appealing to benevolent people and organizations to be able to achieve this dream. Since its establishment in 2021, the Corden Foundation has helped over 100 underprivileged students gain admission to various top-ranked institutions including Harvard, Yale, Princeton, Caltech, UPenn, Brown University and Cornell. And Max Alabuwa with that story. South African uh, Afropop singer Zahara, whose soaring voice and her multiple platinum-selling albums in her home country, South Africa, has died at the age of 36. The Lollywood hit maker died at the hospital in Johannesburg Monday night after battling with liver disease. My colleague Jacqueline Ansmayabwa captures her last minutes. And we say, uh, may her soul rest in perfect. It's time for you to change the world in someone's story with the Codon Foundation. The Codon Foundation is a non-profit organization dedicated to bridging the gap between low income and quality education opportunities. Since its establishment in 2021, the Codon Foundation has helped over 100 underprivileged students gain admission into various top brand institutions including Harvard, Yale, Princeton, Caltech and others. Codon hopes to continue helping underprivileged students achieve their dreams and it starts with you. You can also help other students achieve their dreams by donating. Like me, I donated. <laughs> you can also join to be a member or donate to Codon. Visit www.codon.com for more information. Hi everyone, my name is Selom Promise Abedu and I'm the founder of the Codon Foundation. The Codon Foundation is a non-profit organization dedicated to bridging the gap between low-income and underrepresented students and quality educational opportunities. We do this by providing free university mentorship for both undergraduate and graduate students to apply to schools in the USA, UK and Canada, delivering free SAT and GRE tuition, sponsoring highly qualified students to take the SAT and GRE, and guiding our admitted students through the visa application process at no cost. We also host free mentorship programs to help students apply for internships at top companies both locally and abroad. In just two years, the Codon Foundation has supported over 100 undergraduate and graduate students in securing scholarships at top ranked universities, including Harvard, Yale, Caltech, Cornell, and Princeton. To date, we have facilitated admissions to 57 different institutions, winning over $35 million in total scholarships. However, we cannot deny the fact that there are still many talented students who have been unable to pursue higher education due to financial constraints. Should we allow financial hardships to shatter the dreams of the change makers of tomorrow? Must we lose brilliant minds capable of contributing significantly to society solely because of financial challenges? The urgency to provide an equitable education irrespective of social status must be addressed, which is what Codon stands for. With your general support, we can extend our reach even further. Your contributions of any amount will help us continue our mission to support the dreams of these students. To help us continue this good work, kindly donate using the GoFundMe link provided below. Together, we can create a better world through educational empowerment because at Codon, we firmly believe that nothing is insurmountable. After all, the impossibility is a speciality. <laughs>